A very popular type of video on YouTube is something called an unboxing video. This is where you film yourself opening a box in order to view the contents. Personally, I never really understood the appeal of opening a box on camera in order to just show off what's inside the box. Maybe it's a way of proving to everyone that whatever you're about to show off is new to you or previously not tampered with. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to make my first unboxing video right now. And full disclosure, it's not even a box. It's a padded envelope package thing. Uh, what's inside this is an obsolete banknote uh, that I purchased on eBay, which arrived to me via USPS a couple of days ago. Uh, I did not open it because I wanted to show you the note inside. But before I show you the note, I want to show you me opening the package in order to get to the note to show it to you. So without further ado, let's you and I open this package together. So I taped over my address and the sender's address because I don't want random people on the internet to watch this and know where I live. I like getting these, these padded envelopes because I tend to reuse them. Uh, whenever I sell a note and have to ship it out, I usually reuse these along with all of the packing material inside. It feels like the note is sandwiched in a couple of pieces of cardboard. So how I open these is I basically feel for where the cardboard ends right here. Right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the very end of this off. Let's see what's inside. There it is. So again, I will use this and this to package up the note that I sell. Um, put tape here and then put this into a uh, plain envelope and that's how I'll ship it. So I always like to reuse this stuff. All right, so what is the note? Well, what it is, is a very interesting piece of United States history. So let's start at the top. Up here, the very top, it reads, on demand after proclamation to present the state of Mississippi, and then here it says, will pay to the bearer the sum of $1 out of proceeds of cotton pledged for redemption of this note of the treasurer's office in Jackson, Mississippi. It's dated the first day of November, 1862. And then on the side here, it says, renewable in payment of all dues to the state and counties except the military tax. Now, the most noticeable part of this note is the blue overprinting. So right here it says cotton pledged. And then right here it says one 
D-O-L, which stands for one dollar. So it is a Jackson, Mississippi note. One dollar denomination from 1862, state of Mississippi. And what makes this, this note so interesting is because it was actually backed by cotton. Um, I tried looking up some information on this, and this is what I found. I'm going to read it to you. During the Civil War, the cotton crop was pledged as backing and used for payment of all debts to the state or all counties except the military tax, which is what is stated down here. So this is called cotton money. Cotton money were certificates issued by banks on baled cotton, generally used in commercial and financial operations by planters in the South. When secession demoralized the cotton exchanges, growers called on the Confederate government to issue cotton money. Mississippi was the only state to comply. It issued $5 million in treasury notes to be advanced on 1861 cotton and stored and pledged for delivery by owners. Although planters clamored for additional issues of cotton money, the legislature refused to issue notes on cotton raised after 1861. As the war progressed, Confederate currency became practically worthless because it was not backed by gold or anything really, but simply by the promise of the Confederacy to pay after a Southern victory in the war. In fact, early in 1861, the Confederate government started issuing notes, which would be payable, quote, six months after the ratification of a treaty of peace between the Confederate States and the United States. That obviously didn't happen because the Confederacy did not win. Only the series of 1862 notes from Mississippi were of value because they were backed by stored cotton. Before the cotton money was repudiated in 1869 as part of the Confederate debt, more than half of it had been redeemed. So this treasury note is redeemable in $1 worth of cotton. And I just thought it was so interesting that unlike a lot of the other Confederate bills, this one is actually backed by something. And it happens to be backed by cotton. So I thought this was a really cool note. This example, as you can see, is graded uncirculated 62 EPQ by PMG. Unfortunately, I was unable to find who the signatures belong to on this note. Uh, it's the auditor and the treasurer. If you happen to know, please put it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.